हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर तेजेंद्र सिंह आई एम ए मेडिकल ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट इन अपोलो हॉस्पिटल टुडे विल बी स्पीकिंग ऑन टारगेटेड थेरेपीज इन लंग कैंसर देर इज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स विच हैपन इन द लास्ट डिकेड रिगार्डिंग द एडवांसमेंट इन द लंग कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट एंड वन ऑफ द थिंग विच इज नाउ विच इज पार्ट ऑफ द थेरेपी फॉर लंग कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट इज वी कॉल इट पर्सनलाइज थेरेपी now this personalized therapy is happened because now we have so many new agents new drugs which are in the pipeline which have got very less side effect so when we talk about personalized therapy the important thing to remember is that lung cancer is a cancer where which is caused by lots of mutations in the lung cancer particular cell and this mutation we are able to now able to pick it up and based on this mutation we come to know that this mutation are the main driver things which are causing the lung cancer so picking up those mutation and based on that mutation devising a therapy is part of the protocol which we call as personalized therapy and these drugs which are used for this kind of particular mutation are called targeted therapy so nowadays the treatment of any cancer especially the lung cancer is exclusively based whether the patient has got these kind of mutation and if mutations are there to give treatment according to it if there is no mutation then the standard chemotherapy comes into place like i said the the chemotherapy has got many side effect because it works on the bad cells also and the good cells also leading on to more toxicity and this toxicity can create a problem to the patient long term you cannot give anything for maintenance and this toxicity has also led on to decrease survival so what has happened in the last decade is we are now approaching towards personalized therapy where every patient is treated in a separate way every patient's cancer is different and the behavior of this cancer is different so we normally take out the tissue and we subject it to a mutation study we call next generation sequencing and based on that we We remove certain, we remove the DNA, and on the DNA we look into the genetic mutation. Like in lung cancer, basically, around 50% of the patient they will have some kind of mutation. And some of the known mutation are called EGFR, ALK, ROS. There's something called BRAF, MAT, and every one of these mutation has got some kind of therapy we call uh, targeted therapy. So there are drugs available. luckily the best thing which has happened is that most of the drugs which are available they are available in tablet form and the cost is not on the very higher side and the side effect are almost nil so one of the thing which comes into the thing is that the patient is able to take the medicine with very less side effect and on a long term basis this has has happened in the last one decade and we are also following the same policy there is something also known as immunotherapy which is now coming up in the next uh, in the last 5 years it has also come up so around 80% of the patient will not require chemotherapy in lung cancer they will be given targeted therapy based on their particular mutation and also around 30% will be a good eligible candidate for immunotherapy all this thing have happened because we want to decrease the side effect and want to make the treatment very precise thank you